The Misadventures of Jeffrey Jetsum. Shouldn't that be Flotsam? No, trust me on this one. As we begin our story, we find our hero, Jeffrey Jetsum, having recently washed ashore on a small desert island that he is keen to find a way off of. <clears throat> As I was saying, he was awake and keen to get off the island. Wait, how'd that happen so quickly? I wasn't cut out for island life. You don't say. Anyway, you'd better get to work if you want to find a way off this island. I could write a message in a bottle. If I had a bottle. And paper. And a pen. And ink. It's a palm tree, complete with coconuts. Ow! Ow! Ouch? Ow! Fortunately, nothing important suffered any damage. Tell that to the lump on my head. Oh, sorry. Let me fix that for you. It's got eight tentacles and nine bad attitudes. My head still hurts. That gopher looks pissed. Looks like a gopher hole. I need that bottle. How are you going to get it down from there? Whack-a-mole? Seriously? You got a better idea. Go ahead. I could use a good laugh. I have no idea. Did you just jam one of the few edible things on this island on a gopher hole? Yep. Okay, just checking. Rube Goldberg would be proud. There's my envelope. As much as I love seeing you flounder, try not to embarrass yourself too much. Looks like you're not the first to end up here after all. This does not bode well for my chances, does it? Give me a hand, will you? <laughs> Leave poor Guybrush alone. Pointy end goes in the bad guy. Thanks, Mum. That did absolutely nothing. Sir, please do not touch the artworks. Darr, shiver me timbers. That did absolutely nothing. How to make that work? Deftly chopping the coconut with the sword, you now have half a coconut. Shouldn't there be two halves? Don't get smart with me. I have no idea how to make that work. That gopher now looks seriously pissed. Zzz, wrong! What 
What if I... Ah, never mind. Jeffrey Smash! <laughs> Try not to break everything in sight. Oh, man! Brilliant idea. For another game. Whoops. Okay, genius. Now what? I'll just... I'll just... Twist it into a length of string. This should make a good grappling hook. Jeffrey Smash! <laughs> Try not to break everything in sight. Oh, man! An umbrella? I'm sure that'll come in handy on a desert island. At least I can use the packing slip to write my message on. My very own fishing pole. Brilliant idea. For another game. I'm not even going to try. Bzz, wrong. Brilliant idea. For another game. I should write something on it first? I'm not sure that'd be wise. Na 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 na. Gotcha. I gotta admit, that was pretty clever. I need a suitable writing instrument first. Sir, please do not... It's empty. It's sir. Uh... Don't be so dramatic. I'm sure it'd much prefer eating nice juicy fish over stuffy accountants anyway. This just might work. Hey, that was my dinner. You are now in possession of a quill. The thieving seagull left you with some of his plumage as a consolation prize. Ink as dark as my soul. A packing slip for umbrellas. It's a stabby pokey thing. Don't hurt yourself. A bottle of grog without any grog. Why on earth are you carrying a mallet around? A quill and inkwell, just like mum used in school. Just how old do you think your mother is? This could be used to write something. You can write, can't you? Please. Send help. Signed, Jeffrey. That should do it. Sure it will. Nobel Literature Prize winning material it is not. Right. I've written my letter and sealed it in the bottle. Now I'm sure to be rescued. Well, I'll be. Ha <laughs> ha Yay! That night, Jeffrey succeeded in thoroughly pissing off pretty much everybody on board the ship. So, the following morning... No! <laughs> Fuck.
Thank you for playing. This has been John Paul Sapsford as the omniscient narrator, signing off. And I'm Paul Thomas as Jeffrey. Now, can somebody get me off this island? Please? Hello? Somebody? Anybody?